technical difficulties. We good? Well, good morning. Uh, on behalf of Executive Culver, uh, welcome to his swearing in ceremony for a second term. Um, I know Bob's really pleased that you're all here. All of you are very special to him. Um, we appreciate you taking time to be here this morning with us. Um, the whole room is full of special people, but let me introduce uh, some that are of particular note. Our Sheriff Mike Lewis is here, uh, elected to another term. Uh, our newly elected clerk of the court of Wicomico County, Bo McAllister, is here. Congratulations. Superintendent of Schools, Donna Hanlon, is here. Wicomico uh, Warwick Community College President Ray Hoy is here. David Ryan, uh, Director of SWED, is here. Ryan Snow from Governor Hogan's office is here with us today. Uh, Melissa Kelly is here from Senator Van Hollen's office. Appreciate you being here. Uh, probably most importantly to Bob, his sister Susan Dunstan and her husband G is here. And his two children, Chris and Courtney, are here. So if you would please rise, I'm going to ask our Director of Planning and Zoning, Lori Carter, to present the invocation. For this occasion, I think it's so appropriate, as we often do, we're thankful for, for being able to be at a place where we can come and have our freedom share. So let's just put our hands together for freedom to be able to come out and to celebrate on today. Most dear Heavenly Father, we do thank you for this time. We thank you for this opportunity to come and to bless a man who's about to take on and do a great work for Wicomico County. We ask you, Father, to look down upon this occasion, look down upon each and every one that has gathered here today. Bless them in a special way. Look down upon a County Executive Culver as he goes into his additional term. We ask you to bless him. Bless his going out. Bless his coming in. Bless him as he makes the necessary decisions as it relates to Wicomico County and its citizens. God, we know that you will continue to protect him and to guide him in all that he do. Keep him and cover him in everything that he accomplished to do for the betterment of Wicomico County. It is in your name we will continue to give you the glory and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. And Sheriff Lewis, if you could come forward and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, sir. Thank you. At this time, uh, if our new Wicomico County uh, clerk of the circuit court can come forward and swear in the executive for his second term, I'll get out of the way. You can say. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The whole time. <laughs> if I can have my sister here, she's going to hold the Bible, our family Bible for us, and I'd like to have my daughter and my son join me. I guess I'm all the Bible. Have we practiced that one Jr. swear or affirm that you will support the Constitution of the United States and that you will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the state of Maryland and support the Constitution and laws thereof and that you will to the best of your skill and judgment diligently and faithfully without partiality or prejudice execute the office of county executive according to the Constitution and laws of this state I will
I was hoping to be both first swearing in. I didn't get to make that, but I'm close enough to second or so. Second. <laughs> I appreciate everybody coming here. It means so much to me to have you all here. So I would like to say a few words. And I guess really part of the problem I had in my first term, and I'll be honest with you, is people said I didn't get enough stuff out and didn't tell everybody what I was doing. So with that, I wrote a little speech here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and, and go through that as quickly as I can so, so you all will know what I plan to do and what I have done. So, But anyhow, again, thank you all so much for your support here. I would like to recognize, again, Sheriff Lewis and his administration, his staff, um, Jessica, for all the help you have done, given to me. And uh, I'm so proud that we've been able to get on the books now in the new uh, public safety building, and we're going to work on that strongly to get that going. So uh, we're, we're there. Some of the accomplishments I feel like my administration has made over the past four years is one of the big ones is being the airport. We're going to take the airport and change it from a, I'll call this lesson, a crop dusters airport to, to, to a major airport. This is going to be a, be a big thing for Wicomico County. And with the help of Dom Veach, who is our director of the airport, and with Wayne working with it and Dave Ryan, we're already on the right track. So we're doing a lot there, and that works out well. Another thing I'm quite proud of is the accomplishments we have done at the Civic Center. The Civic Center has been completely renovated through Steve Miller and his group out there. We've done renovation that has brought a lot more concerts, a lot more uh, people that have decided to use that as their place of uh, wedding receptions, that type of thing. So that's been good. The Henry Parker Fields, that has increased our, our um, I guess, our income coming in within, the, within Wicomico County by probably $100 million over the last 10 years. And we are going to continue to grow our recreation and we've become a major sports center here in Wicomico County. So I pledge to still work on that in the next couple of years to come, Steve. So thank you for all you've done. One of the things I'm, I'm very proud of, and, and it happened my first year, and i can tell you the truth, I don't know that I was ready for it at the time, but it's a major FOP contract that we've been able to work out with the Sheriff's Office for a five-year contract and that has brought our deputies in line with where they should be by, by the end of this term. So I'm very proud of that. We've got another one coming up in two years, I believe, but we've got a, a staff there that is advising me well, and I appreciate everything that they've done, and, and I do appreciate uh, the fact that we have got our deputies in line with where they should be. So thank you all again for working with me so closely on that. My next four years, you may want to know what we're planning on doing. We're going to go ahead and continue on with our education. Our education is our schools, and uh, Dr. Hanley, you've done a wonderful job, and we really do appreciate you being in Wicomico County again and uh, what you're doing for the schools. My part of that is to help with the infrastructure, and that's all I can do as far as helping build the schools back. Since we've been in my office staff here, we have done the finishing of Bennett Senior High. We have completed Bennett Junior. We've done... Um, West Salisbury, and we now have Beaver Run in the queue to be done. So I'm quite proud of that. It's, it's done a lot to get where we are in four years with four new schools. But you know, the best part of that is we've not raised the taxes and we've increased our savings account in those same four years. So that's something that each and every employee of Wicomico County has helped do, and I'm very proud of them. So uh, our forthcoming projects, again, will continue the, the airport. Our public safety complex will be done hopefully within the next two to three years, and that'll be all ready to go. Again, I'll mention the school infrastructure. The, one of the things that we always hear is jobs, and I can't say enough that how much it's been a pleasure to work with Dave Ryan and SWED and to continue. Any job is a good job right now, so, and we're trying to get all the jobs in Wicomico County that we can, and, and we're going to continue on with higher education through the Warwick uh, and economic scholarship fund we're going to continue with that along with the governor's plan to try to give each and every individual in Wicomico County the opportunity to go ahead and do two years of college through Wicomico County so we're very proud of that and, and again Dr. Hoy thank you so much for your your help and what you've done on that so I know it, it took us a while to get it off the ground but we did and it's working very well so again thank you but in closing probably one of the biggest things that I would like to accomplish in the next four years is, and, I'll, and I'll tell you how, how I wrote this down so I wouldn't put it in any other way, but is to continue to gain the confidence from our citizens in Wicomico County that my administration is here to help them and to restore their trust in the government. I feel that that's going to be one of the most important things we can do to let people know that all of my staff is here to help. And we're, we're not here to, 
take advantage of anybody or burden on anybody, but we're here to help in any way we can, and I want to restore the trust in the government that we've always had before in the past. So, again, I can't say you enough. Thank you for coming out today. I appreciate this. I appreciate the opportunity to do four more years. Uh, that may not be everybody's wish, but, you know, we're, we're going to go along <laughs> with the majority right now. So. But thank you, and, and I hope you all will join us in the executive's office for a few minutes for some refreshments, and, and uh, thank you again for showing up today.